In this video, every item will be a magic mushroom. Every time I take a magic mushroom, my size will increase, which might be problematic. Hello, I'm sure there will be no issues with me getting five or 10 times my normal size. Maybe if I get large enough, I can just start stomping enemies like a mega mushroom. But yeah, the hitbox won't actually change despite how large I may or may not get. So uh, it shouldn't be much of an issue. I just need to pretend like I'm the same size, even though visually I will be quite large. These guys are annoying, but I will make short work of them, barely taking any damage at all. Yeah, I think most people lose around three to four hearts in this room, but just one for me. Pretty happy with that. Uh, the flies are, of course, a very dangerous enemy in this game. Um, you don't want to mess with them, but I, I make sure work them. These guys, you just got to be a little patient with. Okay, here we go. Oh, I haven't used my pill yet. Let's find out what it is. Bombs are key. Yeah, keys are more useful than bombs, so that's a nice trade-off. I don't mind. I'll take it any day of the week, any hour of the day. Here we go. So we're expecting the first magic mushroom in uh, the item room, of course. So it is all pedestal items that are replaced by a magic mushroom. I believe things in shops are all still unique. They can still be any item in the game. It's just uh, pedestal items. Which leaves uh, some room for opportunity. If I find something insane in a shop, then, you know, grab it up. Here we go. Another really difficult room there with the flies. Worst enemy in the game. Yeah, I've heard of this like really difficult boss as well that apparently spawns flies infinitely. Hopefully we do not run into him on the boss. There we go. Still no item room, huh? Being tantalizing. Ooh, I would like this actually. Oh, that's pretty good. So this was some random other item which obviously got re-rolled into our first magic mushroom. Looking good, Lazarus. Just uh, been eating healthily, I can see. Um, okay, so we have increased damage, increased speed, increased range, and increased size. All great things, especially the size. I can now intimidate my enemies with my vastly superior uh, pixel ratio on the screen. Okay, we will skip that for now. Do of course want to make it in time for boss rush and hush in the same run, of course. Okay, so I guess we miss the item room all the way back there. Thanks to our increased speed, however, we can zoom through no problem. This would, opt this would probably take around like 10 minutes without the extra speed, go all the way back here, but thankfully we've got that little buff. Good thing I'm still on full health. Here we go. I don't know why these guys are shaded a slightly different color. I'm not sure if that means they're... I think they're a bit more erratic actually, yeah, they're definitely spitting out tears at a faster rate. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm liking the damage. The speed's getting a little difficult to control. And uh, the size looking oh, better than ever. Loving the size. Oh, that's another item. This is a double floor. That makes sense. There were quite a few rooms. Oh, it's a magic mushroom. Interesting. Let's take that. Oh, fun guy. Cool, cool. What does fun guy do again? I don't remember. Oh, I think it gives you like three extra hearts or something when it about, or maybe two extra. Oh, I am really fast now, and I'm also very large. I just have to remember that my hitbox has not changed size. So oh yeah, I can crush rocks, can't I? True, true, very true. Let's see what I get here. Probably nothing. Blow it up. Magic mushroom. That's all right. Oh, might as well just stomp over all this stuff. Spiders are, of course, the second hardest enemy in the game, so I've got to be careful about those ones. 
All right, this guy's taking a bit of a beating, actually. I was kind of expecting, like, three or four shots max before I killed him, but uh, he's not as uh, feeble as I imagined him to be. Or rather, I'm not as strong as I thought I would be. I think, like, uh, one brimstone would still defeat him quicker than I just did. All right, that's fine. There it is. Oh, another boss room, of course. Oh, no, this is the hardest ending in the game. This is really, really hard. All right, wish me luck. I don't think I've ever beaten this guy before. Oh, there's a first for everything. The epic music is very fitting. Oh, I think I'm, I'm actually larger in size than him. I think that's the only reason I stood a chance. Damn. Cool. Duke of Flies down. And we really look at that. It's another magic mushroom. Oh, am I going to have to stop taking magic mushrooms at some point so I can, I can actually look at what's on the screen? This may be the case. Yeah, I couldn't even see any of those enemies until I actually moved to the side. This is becoming an issue. Whoa. Okay, just gotta remember, hitbox is the same size. I think I just need to, like, hug the edge of the rooms, actually. So that I can actually see things. There we go. Almost feels like I should be able to fly with the speed. I mean, surely I should be able to walk over one tile gaps. My my feet are probably larger than the tile gap. Um, nice, nice. Very surprised I haven't taken damage here. But that's what happens when you're the world record holder in speedrunning Barry Isaac. Um, I have proof on my channel, by the way, if you didn't know. I do hold the world record for the speedrun of Barry of Isaac. Just, um, yeah, have a look on my channel. It's pretty cool. But anyway, I didn't mean to flex there, just got a little derailed. I had to pick up another magic mushroom in case you didn't know it, so... Uh, maybe that might be the large, last one I pick up. Actually, no, no, there's no point in this challenge if I start skipping magic mushrooms. Got to pick up everyone, got to commit fully. Whoa, that was easy. Oh, these guys are going to be annoying because they're so small. For the first time in this game, I'm actually want to fight uh, larger enemies, not these annoying little small ones. I can just hide behind my massive head. I'm loving these pixels though, on Isaac. I mean, not Isaac Lazarus. It's really nice design. You can see each individual pixel. It's really nice stylistic choice. Here we go. All right. Where is my next contender. That's fine, I can dodge that guy. I just have to use the audio cues. Oh. If I hear a attacking sound, I move out of the way. Oh, I can crush rocks, can't I? What am I doing? It's fine, it's fine. It's a tactical choice. Damage taken will ignore soul black hearts, causing your red heart containers to be depleted first. Excellent, considering I have no soul hearts. I'm larger than you. Can't I just walk over you? Nope. I will simply kill you over a short period of time. Feels like I should be doing more damage than this, really. I guess it's because my tears haven't increased at all, and will never increase. Unless I find something in the shop, of course. <clears throat> this guy's this, this guy, like ridiculously easy, easy normally. Shouldn't he be shooting some tears out when he lands? I guess it's a. Uh, Easy variant with this boss. Oh! Okay, would have been embarrassing if I took damage there after some of that. There it is. The delicious. Best mushroom of all. Oh, I missed the devil room. God damn it. I could have taken more magic mushrooms by spending my hearts. Um, okay. This is really, really problematic. This is really, really, really problematic. Oh, God. It's fine. It's actually really fine. It's completely fine. Cool. Um, I would actually like to spend my souls there. I would not mind doing that. Give me something good. Do not eat all my health, please. You're gonna eat all my health, aren't you? Please. You son of a gun. Uh, okay, I'm gonna blow this guy up. <laughs> oh, great. 
Oh, it's risky to destroy mushrooms. Uh, I would lose health if they were, they were poisonous. There's also a chance I could find a natural magic mushroom from those mushroom cells, so... A bit of an opportunity lost, but... <clears throat> we need every heart container we can. We can get after that... That beggar... Ate up... Most of mine. Alright, just gotta remember... I am the same size as regular Lazarus. Nothing has changed in that sense. So, I just need to... Really, uh... Method act. A smaller version of myself. That will be okay. Fanta oh, okay. It does make it a little difficult to see where I should be, though. Uh, this guy is really annoying. Okay. Here we go. Alright, face me, boss. Please, no more rooms. No more rooms. It's too much. It's too much. Enough is enough. No, no more spiders. I'm done with spiders for a lifetime. Uh, oh, that's great. Uh, I have seven monies. Oh, a fly protector would be nice. Oh, it's not fly protector. It's another magic mushroom. Just wild to see. I'm so glad I got another magic mushroom. I was really worried for a second there. That I might not uh, defeat this run. Did I, did I just um, restore all my health? I did not realize the magic mushroom gave you full health. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's what I wanted to see. We don't need range in here. All we need is damage, health, and size. That's what the three most important stats in Isaac are, if you didn't know. That's what they always say. As long as you have range, size, and damage, any run is winnable. There we go. Easy game. Okay, these spiders are annoying. It's, like it's impossible to see them if I'm in the lower part of the screen. <laughs> Uh, that's cool, that's cool. Oh, that's delicious, that's lovely. Oh, look at, look at my face. I'm so beautiful, I'm so beautiful. Uh, greed. Greed, I don't have time for this, man. Um, listen. I, I just realised it's pretty difficult to lose this run if I'm getting full health on every magic mushroom. I suppose it's possible I take, uh, a lot of damage on a boss, like especially the mum's heart. It's going to be impossible to see any projectiles and dodge any projectiles at this size, actually. So it's just a matter of can I beat the boss before it can murder me? Because every one of the shots is probably going to be hitting me. Uh, we'll find out. We'll find out. I'd give myself a sixty percent odds. Uh, I would uh, definitely bet on me. If you were a betting man. Depends on how good uh, the odds of odds you get though. The bookies need to take their cut as well, of course. I used to think the bookies took a massive cut, like a few percent, maybe four or five percent, but I actually worked out the odds earlier on two teams I were playing and they only take like a 05 percent cut. Which isn't too bad. Uh, these guys are, are not the worst boss possible, considering I can destroy these rocks, and it's a lot easier to see them, because they are quite long. Okay, do I expertly dodge that? But sure game. You can, uh, cheat. No, oh, that was easy. Almost too easy, almost suspiciously easy. I think it's luring me into a, with a false sense of security. <clears throat> It's locking me up in a safe room, telling me everything is going to be alright. But I don't trust its words. I know it's, it doesn't mean anything. How have I not taken damage? That's pretty impressive. Okay, well that was inevitable. All things considered, it's pretty easy. I do believe Mum is up next. Mum's foot is going to do a little bit of damage to me, but nothing I should be concerned about. This corpse are uh, only deplete if I lose all red hearts. Is that how it works? Or is that only the most recent one now? I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Ooh. Yes, please. I will take uh, infinite bombs. Uh, okay, is that good enough? Is 
<laughs> okay, great, perfect. Alright. These uh, skulls making the item as well. Should stomp over them. Black heart, fantastic. Love to see it. It's annoying fly bats. Annoying bulky bats. Oh, these guys spit out spiders, gotta be careful. Nothing worse. Oh, I can't pick up the black heart. I thought it could uh, override red hearts, but apparently not. Oh, this is an annoying room. Any room with lots of small enemies is my bane. Especially enemies that jump towards you. Yikes. What's going on? What is that gulping sound? What is that gulping sound? <laughs> What's that weird red enemy? Is it like regening or something? What's going on? I don't know if they're regening. I think they are regening. Oh, it's that red enemy that's regenning them. I have to kill this dumb red enemy. I've never encountered this guy before. Wow. Huh. So all the other enemies were basically invincible, regenerating. To I kill that guy. Well, I'm glad I figured that out relatively early rather than slowly dying here. Over the course of 5-10 minutes. That's good at least. And uh, these guys can finally die. Got to take up this choker as well. Perfect. What's this going to be, I wonder? A brimstone or polyphemus? Nope, it's a magic mushroom. Okay, this guy, these guys, you just need to push off into the edges. These guys are actually really easy. I always uh, bear these people, these folks. But it's these that you really need to be worried about. They will just charge at you violently. The big versions are oh, they're fine. They just stay still. From the innocent little poops. Okay. Ooh, magic mushroom. For 15 cents. That's a bargain. I think it's a bargain that I can't refuse. I suppose I was wrong. I suppose items in shops are replaced by magic mushroom as well. Of course, of course. How could I be so stupid? And uh, I am now fairly large not large enough though like um i don't think i'd win any competitions of largeness but it's something to be noted at least at least it's noticeable but i feel like uh, i need five to ten more magic mushrooms to really drive the point home black poops five percent chance to spawn a black heart with black poops right that's useless to me don't need black hearts got enough red Ooh. Good thing uh, I'm really small and that laser isn't going through my neck. I'm really sad if that laser just decapitated me. Thankfully, Lazarus is uh, basically a projection at this point. It's like he has like a really weak spot in his toe, and otherwise his body is completely immortal. <clears throat> but if that, yep, and look, see. If the enemy even stubs my toe, ouch. But otherwise, I'm like completely fine. Just gotta um, let them hit me in the head, hit me in the hand, shoulder, whatever. I don't care. But if they target that toe, I'm in trouble. Oh, there it is again. It's like a, it's like a chink in plate armor. Like a um, sword for it, you know, like a weak point. Oh, that is a lot of skulls. Uh, yeah, these used to be my least favorite enemy in the game because those skull, those bones would come out so quickly that sometimes you just can't dodge them. Uh, back when I was actually really good at Isaac. Not that I'm not good now. I'm in fact I'm better now. But um, I was I was I was good back in the day. I was uh, fairly consistent. I had a good old uh, win streak going. I think it was 10 plus. Of course, now I'm around uh, 100 to 200 win streak, but um, yeah, we all improve. So yeah, inspiring stuff really. If you're bad at Isaac, use this as inspiration. One day even you could be like me. <clears throat> Expertly clearing skulls, taking no damage at all. It's been a no hit run so far, hasn't it? Damn. I wasn't expecting to go into this and take no damage at all, but 
You surprise yourself sometimes. Okay, this should be easy with my speed. No, it's not mom, it's a red creep, rail creep, I don't know. Okay, come on, do you really have to park yourself at the top of the screen? My one weakness. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to assume you're doing things and shoot upwards if that's alright. Oh, you have a lot of health. You're a tanky one, aren't you? I can't afford to kill you guys. I can't see anything you're doing. Spiders, my one weakness. Come on, can you show yourself so I can kill you, please? I'm talking about the skull to the left. It's stressing me out. Oh, there it is. Nope, okay. Sorry if this is painful to watch, <laughs> but I see the same things you see. It's also painful to play. It's fine, it's almost dead. I wish I was slightly transparent. That'd be wonderful. The skull is very irritating, man. Uh, can't see those bullets. Oh, there we go. Oh, when I flash, I'm transparent. I phase in and out of existence. Perfect strategy. I can tactically take damage to see the boss. I'm so good at this game. Oh, look at that. See, some people, novices, amateurs, they would have gone through this boss fight without taking a single hit point of damage, and they wouldn't have seen the boss at all. They would have no visual clarity, no immersion, no fun really. But me, I intentionally take damage so I can see the boss. And increase the enjoyment of this fight. You love to see it. I didn't even realize this guy had lasers. I'm taking a lot of damage. Doesn't matter though because I'll be getting a nice juicy magic mushroom at the end of this fight. And you know what that means. Full health and more size. Yep. All right, onwards we go to the depths of the depths. The depths too. Okay. Um, do not like jumping enemies. Do not like small and numerous jumping enemies. <clears throat> so it's a good thing you didn't give me that in this room. Good thing this is just an easy room. Hi, priestess. I would appreciate some help from my mother. Oh, many rocks, many rocks. Oh, that's a bomb rock. Foolish, very foolish of me. Although, you know what they say, blame the game, not the player. So I will blame the game. Your fault, game, for putting that bomb there. All right, good stuff. Oh, my favorite guy in the world, my best friend. Okay, it's a red room. It's a dice room. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, rerolls or pickups. Imagine this is a rerolls item room. <laughs> oh, that would be insane. I don't think it would decrease my size though if I rerolled my items. So, uh, it would probably just reduce my damage a lot and then maybe kill the run. I'd still take it though. Alright, easy guy, easy, these guys are not so easy, oh, bait them into the spikes I suppose, yeah, many small enemies is annoying, that's okay, alright, hopefully we've got a, yep, that's why I was after, a nice easy magic mushroom, we really needed the size increases in this run, so it's a good thing we found this, nice, nice. Yeah, I was worried about Isaac's size that I won't be able to see him on the screen, but I think it's getting a little better now. So there's still room for improvement though, I feel. Nice. More money to buy hopefully more magic mushrooms in the future. Although I'm not sure this is the last floor with a shop in this game. These guys are slow moving relatively large in size. My ideal dream enemy, really. Ouch. Yeah, my dream enemy. There's a 1 in 7 trillion chance these enemies would show up in this room. And they did. Okay, I have very large speed, so this shouldn't be an issue. Yep. 
I did uh, hear an item drop, although I did not see it. So I will go pick it up. Better be something really good. Like incredible. Like magic mushroom good. Infested. Silver coin. Not bad. That's like a third of magic mushroom. Alright, onwards we march. I'm not really marching, I suppose. It's like uh, three or four footsteps for me to scale a room in that, at this current size. I'm kind of just uh, striding. Might be easier if I just uh, lay down in the room, honestly. I could probably just body slam these enemies to kill them. If only. If only once you got like six to seven size ups, it gave you the stomp effect of Mega Mushroom. Stomp over enemies. That'd be pretty cool. Might be broken though, you might be able to duplicate size up hills. You probably could. I meant to bomb that guy and I used my pill. Great stuff. He actually saved me a massive amount of time. It's time saves like that which make me the world record holder. These little maggots on the floor. Let me stomp over them. Ooh, item room. Wonder what we'll get. My favorite. My favorite. All stats up. What a lie. It's not all stats up. Don't be silly. It does increase the most important stat of all, though. Size, of course. I feel like you're not really playing Isaac unless you're playing with maybe 40% uh, of your screen being covered by your character. I think it really adds immersion to the game. It's like those FPSs where they have huge guns blocking like half the screen. I think in the console versions for like a lot of the Call of Duty games, they would really ramp up the size of those guns because it would save FPS, or like, increase FPS rather, because they don't have to render the part of the screen that's blocked by the massive machine gun, or even SMG. So it's a very tactical decision. I feel like I'm saving a lot of frames here by blocking most of the screen with my character. I can feel the screen running at maybe like 500, 600 FPS right now. So um, it's actually a really nice gameplay experience. Although, of course, your eyes can't see above 11 FPS, so it's a little pointless in this case. I think I might die here, you know. <laughs> these spiders, these goddamn spiders, they're, 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 they're the end of me. Just go kill the spiders as soon as they show up. Kill the small enemies as soon as they show up. So if you get overwhelmed by them, you'll be constantly taking damage. Yeah, see, that, that spider's a problem. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Just play it smart. Play smart, not hard. Uh, kill that spider. It's gonna jump for you. Okay. If I just hear, if I hear a grunting sound, I'm dodging that, dodging that foot. I did not dodge the foot. It's fine. She's almost dead. She's almost dead. Oh, there's three spiders on the screen. It's all. It's fine. It's fine. She's almost dead. I don't remember if the other enemies get killed. They do. Cool. Oh. Easy. So easy. Not even close. Plus one damage up. Invincibility. Both pretty useless. I'll just take the damage, I suppose. Um, yeah. Let's take... Actually, I kind of want to go to the cathedral. Cathedral's uh, a nice place to be. Oh, that's so good. Oh, I didn't mean to damage you. Poor, poor angel. This didn't happen. It didn't have to, have to happen like this. I didn't realize simply walking over you was gonna. I guess you count as a rock, I think. But so when it folds its wings, it does a cross shape, right? Of the lasers. And when it, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when it does the other pose, it's a wait, not cross shape. You know what I mean? Like a diamond shape. Yeah, yeah, that shape. You know what I mean? That's a lot of health, actually. Pretty impressive for an angel. 
Like, what, despite my 13.65 damage, it doesn't really feel like that. And it must be because my reduced tear rate was for reduced shot speed, so a lot of the tears are missing. It's alright there. What? It's not a magic mushroom. Oh yeah, it doesn't, um, it doesn't replace quest items, which is why the Polaroid and negative were there as well. Forgot to mention that, because you kind of need the quest items to... Okay, did not pick up that soul heart tactically. I don't want to tarnish my health pool with blue hearts. Oh! <laughs> Lazarus laying down is a beautiful sight. Oh god, this tinted... This tinted state of this floor is making it even harder to see. Okay, I just want to rush through this floor as quickly as possible, because this is not... It's just a little too pleasing on the eyes, actually. Like, you don't want to um, spoil yourself with these kind of sights when they're so rare. I'd rather get through this floor very quickly. Uh, okay. Health is good because I'm not actually sure how much damage I want to take on this boss. I am worried about Mum's heart because she has phase where she's... Oh, this guy! This guy! How do I kill you? Oh, he's so annoying. Why do I have a baby attached to me? I don't know. And it's gone now. Cool, cool. Very cool. I don't even know what those things do, honestly. Maybe if you leave them for an extended period of time, they'll attack you in some way. But I've never seen it happen. Alright, that's cool. I don't... Oh, whoops. Don't mind me exiting full screen mode. My accent. Yeah, so it makes it very difficult to see spikes as well with this increased size. Oh, of course, there's skeleton enemies hidden behind these people's masks. That's it. just the enemy I wanted to see. Easy sending in the game, really. Got nothing on spiders and flies. Alright, come on. We have to find this boss room. We're back to the start, though, so it doesn't bode well. Let's go left. I'm feeling left here. Okay, okay. These people have detached eyes chasing after me. Oh god, it is hard to dodge. It is really hard to dodge. It's hard to dodge. I, I, I suppose uh, I, I should have stopped picking up magic mushrooms maybe six or seven iterations ago, but... Come on. I had to, uh, I had to be able to see myself on screen. Okay, let's have a look at my enemy. I think uh, destroying these rocks can hurt me as well, but it's got to be done. Don't really have an option here. It's going to happen, whether I like it or not. Yeah, good thing about the increased speed is that this enemy is very easy to outpace. Let's see what this pill does. Oh, that is a good one. So that's a good one. I like that one. Possibly saves me a couple of hit points. I want four and a half hearts. Oh no. Oh no. I can't see anything. Stay at the top of the screen. Stay at the top of the screen. Good tactic. Side or top, never bottom. That's the tactic. If I stay at the top of the screen, then it's actually possible to see the bullets coming at you. Two and a half hearts. Boss room has to be here. No. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Just, just stay here. Just, just chill. Kill this guy as he goes round. All right. Wait for this person to shoot. Very politely. You want to shoot? You're not feeling it? Being a little shy. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. There we go. Snipe him from up here. Got high range, right? Okay, these guys are just going to circle around their designated rocks. Oh, he's circling around the edge of the room, you sneaky son of a gun. There we go. Easy stuff, easy. Got so much health. Two and a half parts. That's just loads. I just need to get lucky. I need to find like a magic... Whoa, ho, ho. I just need to find a magic mushroom from a rock. Then I'll have full health again. That would be the ideal scenario. 
right more enemies lay in wait somewhere there he is probably gonna be more enemies in the bottom room what is there oh no oh i need to open that chest for sure but i should probably avoid oh it's so hard to see okay how do i get to this chest I can't get to the chest without passing spikes. That's unfortunate. Onwards we march. Okay, okay, they're gonna be really soon. We need to kill them ASAP. Okay, they're probably coming from above me somewhere. Oh, you haven't been released. So sad for you. You were either weaker or had a strong chain. Interesting. Not risking that. <laughs> oh, that that card could be too red hot, so I should take it. I should take it. Oh, it wasn't worth it. It was not worth it. It wasn't worth it. I did assume I was going to not take damage there. Yeah, I had to use this in this room. This room is ridiculous. For my size, that is absolutely ridiculous. Half a heart. Half a heart? It's half a heart more than I need. That doesn't make any sense. It's exactly what I need, actually. Uh, just don't take damage. Duh. Simple. Just take no damage from here on out. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I can't see anything! <laughs> Wait, I'm, I'm alive? Why am I alive? Is that what Lazarus does? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, it's a Polaroid. It's a Polaroid. Ah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Alright. Here we go. It's not your mum's heart. There's no way I can make it to mum's heart. There's no way I beat this guy really. Because of his little eyes flowing around. Which are really annoying. Oh yeah, cool. Alright, not a terrible run honestly. I had um Yeah, my items were pretty trash honestly. I only got like F tier items. So what can you do? Sometimes you just get screwed by the RNG of the run. But if you enjoyed that video, then please like and subscribe for more challenges like this. I'll do other every items are, and I'll do some funky stuff like every enemy is a fly or a duke of flies. Things like that, you know, mix it up a little. So um, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one. Goodbye.